American gang culture is violent, trigger happy, and mostly unorganized. A culture that stems from the want of belonging to a group and where the non-affiliated are targeted. Then you have the gangs in Tokyo Avengers, violent, rebellious, and revolutionary middle schoolers? Yes, decades ago, there was an influx of young middle schoolers that attempted to fight the uniformity of Japan's social norms by joining gangs affiliated with the Japanese subculture known as the Yankee. In the anime series Tokyo Revengers, many of the questionable acts of the Toman gang are actually pulled from real life occurrences, as the mangaka announced that he had too been a young gang member of the gang back in the 2000s, rumored to be the Black Emperors thanks to the Reddit post made by user Shu49. In this video, we'll dive into the real world influences behind the infamous Toman gang to help you understand how the influence of gang culture rose in popularity in reserved society like Japan. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get to it. The beginning of Tokyo Revengers starts off with the main protagonist, Takamichi Hanagaki, a 26 year old boy who's almost killed by a train and mysteriously time travels 12 years in the past, back when he was a young delinquent part of the middle school Yankee group, the Tokyo Manji Gang. Before I go over the real influences behind Tokyo Revengers, I think it's best I go over Japan's darker subculture that inspired the whole show called Yankee. Yankee culture is something delinquent Japanese kids take on as a form of rebellion against Japan's strict societal norms and overall rules, as Japan is a place where expressing yourself is taboo still. Yankees can easily be distinguished by the way they express themselves. Black or white jackets are the norm, different cut hairstyles popular from the 70s and 80s era, and speaking in a coarse and vulgar tone, much different than your regular Japanese citizen who adhere to the Hon and Tatemae values. The members of the Tokyo Manji gang reflect the stereotypical Yankee as seen by Abaji's rude behavior or even Draken's wild haircut. The Tokyo Manji gang, or Toman as they're also known, draws inspiration on the real life counterpart known as the Black Emperor, which was formed in the 70s, a collective the mangaka Ken Wakui has stated previously rumored to be a part of. Wakui wanted to tell a story about his personal experience being in a Bosozoku a Japanese motorcycle gang at a pivotal point in history. Of course, just minus the time travel part of this anime, as its inclusion was a simple plot device to be able to set the story in the past, where his experiences were most relevant. The Bosozoku rode around with flashy decorated motorcycles, went to war with rival gangs and the police. It's incredible that the gangs would have over a whopping 40,000 people in their ranks riding along the streets of Japan. The Black Emperors in particular started off as a popular activist group during the Vietnam War. At first, the Japanese government respected them, but years later, the gang split up into factions, creating violent organizations that did heinous crimes. A horrifying yet real example of this is the airport massacre of 1972, where a group called the Japanese Red Army was recruited by Palestine, killing 26 civilians and injuring 80 others in the process. During the chaos that ensued after the gang divided, an ex-Black Emperor foot soldier mentioned that it seemed as if there was a person pulling the strings behind all these groups, just like Hiski trying to control the Toman gang. In those times, being a gang member meant that you cared more about morals instead of making loads of cash, which are traits that were imbued in the gang leader Mikey. He is all about fighting rival gangs and not terrorizing local civilians in the area, causing the least amount of problems in society. Back then, they mostly wanted to act in a legendary way, one that would be remembered for years to come. One last thing I must mention is the controversial symbol the Black Emperors portrayed onto their attire, which is called the Manji symbol. The Nazis used this symbol for their evil regime years ago, but the Japanese people have put this symbol on Buddhist temples to attract luck, peace, strength, and overall prosperity, as Japan uses the symbol in both directions. If you watch Tokyo Avengers on Crunchyroll like me, then you're probably wondering, when did they put this in the anime? In actuality, just know that this symbol was censored because the symbol is highly controversial no matter what direction it's pointed in. It's sad that this symbol has a negative connotation in many parts of the globe, so it was taken out to prevent any kind of outrage from different groups that may watch the anime. Alright, so if I missed any important topics that inspire the creation of Tokyo Revengers, then post it in the comments so we can discuss it further. This is June signing out, in peace.